Damage left behind by Hurricane Michael is extensive, leaving some communities wiped out. Correspondent Ray Bogan has more on the storm's aftermath from one of the hardest hit areas. Hurricane Michael may have hit hard and fast, but there will be nothing quick about the recovery for many of the communities here in the Florida Panhandle. Everything is devastated. Everything is torn down. It's blown up. The mother of all bombs couldn't have done this. Residents in Mexico Beach wandering in disbelief as they take in the devastation left behind by Michael. The storm slamming the Florida Panhandle with winds over 150 miles per hour and a storm surge of nine feet when it made landfall Wednesday. It was the most frightening thing I've ever had to deal with in my entire life. I really honestly didn't think we were going to make it. Neighbors comforting one another as they took in the remnants of a once familiar neighborhood that is now nearly unrecognizable. Pretty devastating. Like everybody we know lost their house. Everybody. And nearly a million customers remain without power as crews work to restore grids that were destroyed during the storm. Meanwhile, officials are concerned the death toll from the storm could rise as search and rescue teams from across the country work to gain access to the hardest hit areas, sifting through the mass amounts of debris. I just started crying because I see Louisiana, I see Miami, I see people who have been through this before and understand, and they're here to help us because they know what to do. That was Ray Bogan reporting and the storm adding insult to injury because it brought a lot of rain and flooding to parts of Virginia and the Carolinas that were just hit by Hurricane Florence last month.